Hey, what's up everyone? This is J-Dog and J-Dog's DVD Dungeon. I'm bringing you the big, huge DVD update. Volume 2. Got a whole bunch of shit to go through. Like, I was at Big Lots. I got some stuff finally came in from eBay. Got all kinds of great stuff. But first off, I just want to take this time to give a few shout-outs to other people that are doing videos like this. Buddies of mine in the horror world and stuff. I don't know, just to turn you on to some good stuff. Like guys at Slasher Club, Runk and Rick, always doing good stuff, okay, Runk says watch True Blood, or he's gonna kick your ass, brother, so, check that out, yeah, it was pretty weak, I don't even know what kind of wrestler impersonation that was, sure wasn't my Hogan, because hey, all Canadians got a tight Hulk Hogan impersonation, but, anyway, I uh, want to give a big shout out to my uh, bro up in Toronto, that's uh, Nick Lurd, a.k.a. The Changeling, from the Dead Pit Message Board. Guy's always doing kick-ass videos. He's a cool-ass guy. I haven't talked to him for a while, but yeah, just want to say what up, bro. And Critter Fan from uh, Dead Pit Message Board, he's been doing videos. I don't know, I ain't seen nothing do lately, brother, so better get with it. Need to see something, but, you know, real good stuff. Once again, real nice guy, cool cool shit, so... Oh, oh pardon me, J-Dog's pounding energy drink. Here's a little product placement. See if I get some of that internet money. 7-Eleven brand energy drink. The inked. This can put hair on your ass. This stuff, let me tell you. Ooh, what a rush. Anyway, it's good stuff. Keeps you wired up. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, check out his vids. Uh, I don't know who else. Piswell. Guy's doing good stuff. Oh shit, the list goes on. You got L1, you got the Gut Muncher Boys, uh, Jason Payne, like, I don't know, uh, Ed Demko at uh, Blood Type. So I just want to say, like, if you got, if you ain't watching this stuff, j dog has got a question to you. What have you been watching? Like, that's all I got to say. These cats is good, so check their shit out. But anyway, uh, yeah, I've rambled on enough. Oh, got another big shout out, actually. I almost forgot. A man that made this tight t-shirt for you. Oh yeah, look at Linda Blair's cleavage. But uh, T-shirt Joe at Dead Pit Message Board. Just want to give a good shout out to him. Fucking guy makes kick-ass shirts. I picked up four from him on the cheap. Like, it's less than 50 bucks to get four shirts shipped to Canada. So I just want a big shout out to Joe. Keep up the good work. This guy does custom orders too. So J-Dog's got a couple ideas. He's got a few things he's going to get Joe to make down the road. But don't want to hassle the guy. He seems kind of busy right now, so... But anyway, without further ado, let's get into a few DVDs. This is Stephen King. This is a four-pack I picked up. It's like 17 bucks at Walmart, so hey, it's a good deal. Four DVDs for 17 bucks, but I already have Cujo. So that's an extra. What the hell? Just for the box set, I guess. But you got Storm of the Century, which I don't think I've even seen. Thinner. I watched that one out of here already. I like that one. Uh, got the whole Gypsy Curse and whatnot guy gets mad skinny so it's a good show and you got the tommy knockers which i seen on tv but it was like cut and stuff wasn't too good so i'm gonna give it another go but yeah four movies 17 bucks the price is right a couple i didn't have uh it's something else this jason payne's gonna be licking his chops when he sees this i don't know i picked these up on his recommendation actually because i hear him talk like oh william girdler he's so good I'm like, yeah, I seen some of his shit back when I was a kid, like three on a meat hook and stuff, but I was like, is he really that good? Like, ah, I'll check it out. So I got two Girdler movies in this. This is a Shriek Show. I had a few of these. This is good deals, these things. Like, two of these are two discs, like Devil Dog's a two disc, and I believe uh, Day of the Animals, if I'm not mistaken, is two disc, which has Leslie Nielsen. And I'm trying to remember, someone fights the bear. I don't think it's Leslie Nielsen, but... Anyway, you got Grizzly, what is it, uh, 18 Feet of Towering Fury, classy, uh, cheesy, I don't know, animal attack movies, like Grizzly's awesome, got a good kick out of this, actually had some not bad gore for the low budget, uh, but yeah, big props to William Girdler, does a good job, and uh, of course you got uh, Christopher George in both movies, big fan of him uh, from his work in pieces and whatnot, so... I like these movies just on that fact. There's another guy. He's he's in both these movies too. A genre actor. Can't remember his name, but does a good job. And uh, I do believe I seen him in one of the see the Tales from the Crypt or Tales from the Dark Side episodes as well. So 
Yeah, anyway, good deal. I picked that up for like 11 bucks on eBay. It's five discs, some good entertaining stuff. Shriek Show, Evil Animals, three pack. And this is something, I remember seeing a few episodes on this on TV, so I picked it up. I know it was a slow day, there was nothing really to buy, so I figured, hey, I'm a big fan of the city of Philadelphia, so let's see if it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know, what kind of sold me was uh, seeing Danny DeVito's uh, bald mug on the front. I've always been a fan of his work, so I'm like, well, I remember it not being too bad of a show, but J-Dog's behind, he ain't opened it yet. But this is season one and two of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I can't say much about it, so ain't watched it yet. This is something else that just screams nostalgia from when I was a kid. Uh, for me, it holds up the best out of a lot of these cartoons. Hulk Hogan, Rock and Roll Wrestlers is another one. When's that coming out on DVD? It's got to be soon. But anyway, uh, for all you Ghostbuster fans, this is the real Ghostbusters. This is a Steel Book, Volume 1. This is just jam-packed full of good stuff. This is, uh, this is released through Sony and Time Life DVD, but uh, yeah, you got 665 minutes of cartoons in here. Like how many discs I got? Uh, five discs. One, two, three, four. And hidden in the back, you got Slimer. Got a little booklet saying all the episodes. Like, oh Christ. There's all sorts of stuff. It was about 40 bucks, but how, like I said, they stand up really good still. I was always a fan of it when I was a kid, so once in a while I like to pop these in, watch a few episodes. I've only. Shit, I think I still got three DVDs to go in this set, so I'm going to get lots of watching value out of it. j Dog says, if you like Ghostbusters and you like the Ghostbuster cartoon, well, go get the DVD. Because it's all there, the whole season one. I can't wait to get the rest of them. <laughs> uh, what else do I got? Mm. Here's something I've been waiting on for a while, buddy of mine from Dead Pit Message Board, Hydroponic, down in Minnesota. I don't know, he, I'd bought this off him for a while, and... Silly bastard forgot twice to send it to me, so it had been over a month, and then it finally hit the mail, and uh, yeah, I finally got it today. But stupid mail woman, I went out to see the mail, I seen it out there, so I go look, and I'm like, what, just some letters? And as she's driving away, she's like, oh, sorry, I got a parcel. I'm like, well, yeah, right here, I've been waiting all day for it. Like, she didn't leave a notification or nothing, she was just going to drive away, like, she's just going to throw it back in the bin, like, I've been waiting for this shit all week. But anyway finally came. This is my uh, Sleepaway Camp survival kit. Anchor Bay. I don't know, I, uh, I got all the movies already, but I didn't uh, have the box set, so I had to pick this up. And I don't know, to my disappointment, I don't think this has the fourth extra disc in it. I think this is the second releasing of the survival kit, so kind of bummed about that, but uh, what can you do? Hydro had them, new, unused. He didn't specify which ones they were. I was just kind of crossing my fingers hoping I'd be lucky and get the four disc one but no I didn't. But since he spaced out and forgot uh, he sent me a bonus DVD and god damn is it a good DVD. Check this out I can tell why it was a bonus. But we got es what the hell, Escape from Mongolia which I don't know it's some African action and you got The Legend of Bigfoot so I'm, I'm going to check out Legend of Bigfoot I think I got it on some Mill Creek set or whatever but Right on, thanks, bro, for finally sending those. I got them. Right on, thanks for the free disc. j Dogs is busting your balls anyway. He didn't care. Shit, could have took another month. Eh? Ain't no sweat off my ass. But, uh, yeah, what else do I got? I can show you quick. Uh, I don't really got nothing ready to show you quick, and I'm almost out of time. So, uh, j Dogs going to cut this video off. I'm going to come at you real quick with uh, part three, try to get some of this stuff done. So I'm going to go over to my uh, buddy's house for a couple of beer and some barbecue. I'm going to do up some ribs and some burgers and get my eat on. But anyway, yeah, stay tuned. Part three is coming up. Peace.